Hey, what is up you guys? This is ZK, and today I'm going to be giving you a zone tutorial on creating your own zombies map. Uh, these zones will allow you to have your dogs spawn correctly and your risers spawn correctly, and just generally have everything working right so that you're not having problems. Um, this is going to be very simple. I'm going to show you everything you need to know about zones in order to make them work, and I know that everything I'm going to tell you here works because I use it on all my maps, and it works perfectly. So, uh, first things first, open up your map. Uh, this is the map that I've been working on with our YouTube stuff. You probably recognize it if you're following my other videos. Um, so you can see there's obviously been some changes to it because I've just been testing lots of various different things. There's our custom textures video uh, thing that I made in a certain video. But anyway, uh, I'm showing you how to build zones. So first, you actually, you're going to have to actually build your zone. In order to do that, go to your two-dimensional view right over here and uh, right-click and go to info and all the way at the bottom you'll see volume click on that and it's going to give you this purple box here i've covered part of this in uh, my tutorial on how to make zombie spawners uh, so if you already know how to create a zone that's great but for those of you who don't know i'm helping you out here uh, the zone you want that to be covering the whole area that is enclosed right at the beginning of the map okay because we're making our first zone so when here's our starting point so we're starting here and uh, we want to put the zone Make sure it's covering the whole area. It doesn't have to be covering where the zombies spawn. So if I wanted to, you know, cut it like, let's see, where is the zombie? There we go. So if, if I cut it like that, the zombie would spawn completely fine. You know, it, it'd be completely normal. Just because he's outside of the zone doesn't mean he won't spawn. All right. So once we got that out of the way, I'm just going to make it out here just in case of actual emergencies. All right. So push N on your keyboard once or twice, and you'll get this little box up here. In the key down here, you want to type in target name. And on the bottom, you want to type in initial spawn, or whoops, what am I doing? Initial zone. So initial underscore zone and push enter. Then you'll get your target name, initial zone. Now let me tell you why you need to name it initial zone. Um, open up, oops, don't want to go there. Open up your World at War directory in Program Files Activision, Call of Duty World at War. And I go to the folder called raw, and then go to, oops, not images, sorry, I can't think today. Go to maps, and uh, find your Nazi zombie, whatever your map name is, .gsc. Now, mine is Nazi zombie YouTube test, or Nazi, not, Nazi zombie test. Here it is, right there. Nazi zombie test, make sure it's a GSC file, all right? And uh, click copy, and go to your documents, and just paste it right into documents. Okay, and then... Click edit, make sure you open it up with notepad, and you'll get this deal right here. All right, so this, this is a bunch of information that we're going to be editing for creating your maps and, I mean, creating your zones. And, you know, don't exit out of this video now because you're like, oh, man, this looks complicated. It's not that complicated, all right? I'm going to make it very easy for you. So first thing you're going to um, look for here, where is it? It's, this is a very short script. You shouldn't have any trouble finding this, but apparently I am. Let's see, where is it? Ah, come on, where is it? How is it that I can't find it? Here we go. All right, zones you want activated at map start. All right, find this part, and down here it'll say initial zone. That's why we need to call it initial zone, because that's the zone that you want activated at map start. All right? So if you want to change that, go ahead. You can put in um, girl zone, you know, whatever. Just put in whatever you want to. It really doesn't matter. So I'm just going to, don't obviously, you're not going to save that. All right, let's go back. I'm just showing you why you need to call it initial zone. Oops. Didn't want to do that. That was my bad. All right, so hit this, hit your uh, zone again. Bring it up and uh, go type in target. And your target will be your actual zombie spawners, all right? But you don't, but you have to have, give them a certain name. So you write initial zone spawners and just put underscore spawners after whatever the name of your start zone is so if you did go back to that gsc file and you changed it to you know girl zone okay and then so then your the name the target name of your zone would be girl zone so then you would type in girl zone spawners all right so but we didn't do that so we got to do initial zone spawners all right hit enter and there you go that's all you got to do for creating your first zone now go down here to your zombie and you want to make his target name initial zone spawners too. Same thing you put in for the target of your zone. 
All right, and I already did that. See, so you can see that if you did it right, this zombie will have a yellow line going right to the middle of the zone. So here's, here's that yellow line going right to the middle of the zone, right there. All right, you see that? That means you did it right. So now we got to create another zone because you have this door. Okay, this is a buyable door or a buyable crate, I guess. <laughs> um, so once you, we need to set it up. So once you buy this door, um, you come in here and then there's another zone because what you can do is just make this zone here cover your entire map and then just link the zombie spawners to the door like I showed you in the other um, creating your door tutorial, whatever. All right, so you can do that, but then you can't have dogs because then if you don't have this door bot, the dogs will spawn in this room. And obviously we don't want that. If you don't have any dogs, and then it doesn't matter. But if you, you know, even if you have risers, it'll do the same thing. You want your risers won't start up because you don't have another zone. So let's make another zone really quick. Info volume. So we gotta coat this. And one thing that you really want to make sure that you're not doing is the zones cannot be touching. You want to make sure that they're not touching. You see that? I leave a little space. Space won't hurt anything in your game, but you just don't you don't want them touching because otherwise the zones won't work. All right. So now here's where you would put in your target name for the zone. See, I have my zone selected, my second zone, and let's go back to our GSC file. See, in this GSC file, you can see right here add adjacent zone. All right. What you can see here is that you have initial zone. Okay. And then they give you two other ones as default. So you have zone one and zone two. Now, if you want to have more than three zones, like if you're making a much bigger map and you want to have more than three zones, push enter, bring your bring your cursor all the way over underneath add and type in add a J. Oops, make sure you spell it right too. <laughs> zone, and then just basically copy the same thing. But now, the top one up here is called zone two. All right, so you want to put in zone oops zone two make sure you write quotations comma do everything exactly as it is up here but just change it now your next this one under here can be whatever you want your zone to be called so you can call it you know well that is not at all what i want to do i'm not actually going to call it that <laughs> let's just call it seven eight zone whatever just name it whatever you want to quotation comma and then you want to type in enter um, seven eight nine zone, and then follow exactly what it says on top like that. All right, so now we've basically just created another zone in the map file. So if we went into our map here and we named this target name seven eight nine zone, I think that's what we called it, right? Is that it? Yep. 789 zone. So if we did that, then this zone right here is exactly what we told it to do here. But you know, you you don't need to do that because the the game already gives you um three default zones to work with. So we don't need to do that at all. So we'll just delete that. Do 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 do. do. Hmm, not really working right there. Beep, beep, beep. Let me just exit out. Don't save because I think I messed it up oh don't you just love scripting all right so there we go anyway so you can change any of these names you want to just make sure you change them in all instances so if i wanted this to be zone nine like that i could do zone nine and uh oops i can do zone nine there and make sure all places where it says zone one you could change it to zone nine whatever it doesn't matter but uh, we don't need to do that. So we're just going to work with those zones. You can change the names, do whatever you want to, but make sure you ch make sure that you do it right and change all the names correctly. So we want this one to be zone one because that's the next zone in our map name GSC file, whatever. All right. So then we got to do ah man, I cannot type today. Target zone one spawners. Same thing that we did for the first zone. So now we want to rename all both of all the spawners that you have in this room to be target name zone one spawners. You can see that I already have that up there, but I'm going to redo it anyway. And you'll get your yellow lines going to the center of the zone. Perfect, right? 
So if you follow everything I just said, you should have perfect zombie spawners, except for one thing. Now that zone needs to be act this second zone needs to be activated, right? Because this first one is activated at the game start, according to that file that we read. So this one over here needs to be activated. How will you activate it? At all? By buying the door, right? That's how you activate your zone. So what you want to put in is script flag, enter zone one, or enter, you know, 789 zone, whatever you put as your zone name, right? So we want enter zone one, script underscore flag, enter zone one, all right? And once you do that, once you hit this trigger, this zone over here is activated and zombies, risers, and dogs can start spawning there. All right, so now that we've got the zombies and the zones set up, um, we can go ahead and get our dogs working, right? So we have our dog. These are all of the correct KVPs. If you Once you have your dog spawner, you're good to go. And uh, if you don't have that, then go back to one of my other videos on explaining how to put in zombies and zombie dogs, all right? So, but this is not a spawner, obviously. This is just containing the information. To get a spawner, you want to right-click on your two-dimensional view, go to, let's see, where is it? Script, and then go to Struct, and you'll get this little red box. And you want to have it about that high off the ground, I'd say. So now you go into here, and you want to type in target name. Um, let's see, what do you type in? Crud, I forgot. I'm sorry about that, guys. Let me just save the map really quick and open up my other map. Do, 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 do. I completely forgot what I'm supposed to put. Let me just check one of these things. Zone blah 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 spawners dog. Okay, make sh spawners dog. Help me remember that. No, I'm just joking. This isn't live. <laughs> okay, we want spawners dog, right? So where's that script struct? There it is. All right. So you want to type in first target name. You want to type in your zone name first. So this is zone one. So we want to put zone one in there, and then spawners. Same target name that we would put for the zombies, except another underscore, and then type dog. And that's all you need. Okay, so now we have a dog spawner. You can go ahead and rotate it with that little silver arrow just to make it so the dog will be facing a certain direction when he spawns in, you know, whatever. Go ahead and copy it, you know, make as many as you want. doesn't matter. Um, so there, now we have our dog spawners for the second room, but of course we need them for the first room too. So let's hit script struct, same way we created the other one, and now this time we just put in target name, initial zone, oops, yeah, that's right, zone spawners dog, initial zone spawners dog, All right, same, our name of this zone plus underscore spawners and then dog, so underscore dog, so go ahead and you know, take it, you know, copy it, whatever, make as many as you want, just like we did before. And there you go. That's all you have to do in order to make dog spawn. Now, I did say we're going to do risers too, right? So wherever you want the risers to be, go ahead and take your zombie spawner, just copy him into the middle of the map. Doesn't matter where he is. This is not a spawner. This is just going to contain the information, all right? So, next, so then on the key, you want to type in script, string, and then riser, okay? Now, again, this is just like the zombie dog spawner over here. It just contains the information. So once I put that script string in, this is no longer a zombie spawner. This is a zombie riser information log, okay? To create a riser, you want to do the same thing as the dog. Go to script and then struct, and we should get this little guy here. And make sure it's about halfway into the ground, okay? Type in N, and you want to type in um, target name, uh, I think it's zone one spawn, let's see, spawners rise. So it's the same thing as the dog. It's start, it's zone one spawners, and then you just put rise instead of dog, all right? And if, since it's coming up in the middle of the map, like he doesn't have to break a window in order to come after you, the next thing you want to put in is script noteworthy find flesh, like that. 
All right, so that means that as soon as he comes out of the ground, he will start attacking you. If you wanted to have the zombies like come out of the ground behind one of these windows, like right there, then you don't have to put that in because he's going to automatically look for a window when he comes out of the ground. But by putting that find flesh thing there, we're telling the game that we just want him to come after us immediately. Okay? So that's our riser. Go ahead and copy it. You know, it doesn't matter. I'll just make three of them right there. Three beautiful little crawler guys. Okay? So that's all you need to do, guys. That's the whole zoning tutorial setup. And uh, I am just going to um, compile the map really quick. Uh, do, do, do. Wait, that's the wrong one. Not see zombie test. So let me just compile it really quick. It'll take just a few seconds. Not a big deal. <laughs> and also, guys, um, let me just, while it's compiling, I'm just going to show you a quick little thing here. When you want to add more zones, I think I showed you this before, but I'm just going to clarify it one more time. Because we all, if you have a big map, get out of here, World at War thing. Say you, you have a big map, all right, and you don't have enough zones, right? You're just like, ah, come on. You don't have enough zones. You're all frustrated because you can't work with three zones. Let's just paste in. All right, so just go ahead and paste in this line right here, and then you can just, instead of zone two, uh, make sure you type in zone two, zone three, enter zone three. So there, now we have four zones. Initial zone, zone one, zone two, and zone three. Zone one, zone two, and zone three. Yeah, that's four. Hmm. Man, I'm terrible at math. <laughs> so uh, there, now you have zone three. And if you want to have another one, just go ahead and enter that down. Make sure that you make sure it's aligned the same way. And there you have it. Add adjacent zone. Add in zone three. Zone four. Enter zone four. And you can rename these any way you want to. I mean, that's all you have to do, guys. That's how you add zones. And if as long as you do it the same way I just told you, you should be good. Make sure once you edit all that stuff, you want to rebuild your mod. Just make sure. Build mod. Do, 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 do. And there we go. Now we want to hit... Uh, where's, there's test patch. There we go. Building the patch. And now let's run the game. See zombie test. Run the game. Do, do, do. Wow. Hurry up. Jeez. It's taking forever. Good grief. Okay, let me turn down the volume a little bit. It's a little bit loud. I know I'm not recording the volume. It should might be coming through my mic, but it was kind of annoying. Ah. Type in your map name. Go ahead and start up your map. Pring. Now, I think I have it so that the dogs will spawn on round two, but I'm not sure. So here we go, round one. We're in the initial zone. This is the initial zone that we set up. If I bought this door right now, we'd unlock that zone, but we should be getting zombies from back there. Yes, we are. Perfect. So that's the only window here. We only have this window, so we should get all of our zombies from this window. Do -do -do. There we go. That's the end of round one already. Uh... Should we go swimming? No, let's not go swimming because I will get stuck there. Let's go off the edge of the map. No, let's not do that either. We're testing stuff. Yep, so here's dogs on round two. Um, I'll probably die here, so I might have to restart because I hate dogs. So there you can see our dogs are spawning. Oh, looks like I had it a little too high. See, look, I have the this, this, uh, script structs a little too high, so it they're like spawning too high on the map. Die, dogs. Jeez, there's a lot of dogs coming. I'm going to die. There we go. So there's the end of the map, and I don't have the playable area on here. So um, I don't get a max ammo because there aren't any drops for that. So I'll just play one more round. Um, as you can see there, guys, the dogs only spawned in this room. Didn't have any trouble with them spawning in the other room. So that's a plus. That means that it's working so far. I'll just stay here just to prove to you that all the zombies will come from this window. Just stay here for one more round, and then I'll buy the next room. Actually, I'll restart the game just so that we can do our dog round again. So I can show you that they spawn in both rooms once I buy the door. Okay, this should be getting close to the last, guys. Come on, zombies, die. Thou shall die. There we go. All right, guys, so that's the end of the round. Uh, that proves to you that this zone worked for this zone. So now let's restart the game quick, and I'll go by this door right away. 
So we'll get zombies spawning back there. So we bought this door. And uh, let's pick up a mystery box. This is my custom barrier that I made a video. No, I didn't make a video about that, did I? I probably should. There you go. You can see we have zombies coming in through these windows now. No risers, though. Yet. Yet. That's the key word. Yet. And don't fear that there weren't any risers. I'm, I better pick up Jug, otherwise I'll die. Because I hate dogs. Alright, so here we got a dog round. And we will hang out in this corner. There you can see they're spawning in the other room. Isn't that sweet? And there they're spawning in this room too. So just one thing to watch. Just don't make your script structs too high. Otherwise they'll spawn in the air like they're doing for me over there. Um, that's just a little pointer for you. And there's the end of the round, guys. So now let's just stay one more quick round here just to make sure that the risers work. And they're supposed to come from, like, right around here in the mystery box. Sorry, I watched Star Wars recently, so Star Wars music going through your head. My custom barrier. Come on, risers, hurry up. Maybe I did the risers wrong. Thinking I, maybe I did the maybe I did the risers wrong because you'd think you'd see them by now. Hmm. Maybe I did the risers wrong. I think I did. I think I did those risers wrong. You know what? I'm going to pause the video, and I'm going to figure out what happened, and then I'm going to tell you what I did wrong. So, uh, yeah, just hold on a second. Hey, guys, I'm back, and I figured out the problem. Um, let me just open up Radiant really quick here and open up our map. Um, I have the game running right now, and, this, and the risers are working perfectly. Okay, uh, the problem... Well, I'll show you in a second here once Radiant comes up. It runs a little bit slower, you know, once when I have the game running. Uh, test. Do, do, do. Okay, here's the problem, guys. Zombies cannot come out of the ground um, when they are... It's hard to explain. No, I guess it's not. I'm just being stupid. <laughs> uh, zombies can't come out of ground like this. They can't come out of tile. Uh, they can come out of grass like this. So if you go to textures, usage ground zombies can rise out of any of this ground here but they can't rise out of floor and stuff like that so if you want zombies to rise out of the ground you'll have to make a section like that so they'll come out of the ground um it's not that big of a deal though you can like make you know divert a corner over here cut it out a little bit make some dirt make some rubble around it and zombies come out of there it's no big deal but uh, let me just start and there you can see the zombies are coming out of the ground perfectly right here so uh, that was the problem, guys. It didn't take me that long to figure out. I kind of was gambling a little bit when I just made the spawner right here in the tile. So that is the problem. And, yeah. So, guys, uh, that'll wrap up my tutorial on zoning. I hope it helped you. And uh, leave comments, you know. Uh, check out my other tutorials. I have a complete tutorial series on how to create the Zombies map from start to finish, from installing your everything you need on your computer in order to play in order to make your map and play the game to compiling and finishing your map just as you saw me do and being able to play it it's so much fun creating your own map and i hope this tutorial helped you so that's it guys and i will see you on my next video this is zk signing off